Hi, this is Cheryl, Hope Specialist, and today I'm talking to someone who knows Chris Haskell. Now, I just want to say that this whole event has been so traumatic to people that they're not so sure they want to be involved. They're not so sure they want to have their face shown that it's that serious in this neighborhood. But this woman would love to tell you who Chris is and what he's about. So tell me, how long have you known Chris? About shortly after he was born. We've lived in this house 55 years. And what interaction have you had with Chris? Well, as he grew up, he helped play with my kids. And then uh, the last several years, he's helped me tremendously. My husband was ill for a few years. Uh, Chris took care of our yard, planted all oh, my wow. flowers. Yeah. Um, brings me apples to this day from Mount Lemon, which we love. I guess. And, uh, yeah. So well, one of the neighbors was quite a bit older than I am, and he would make her fresh apple pies every spring when he brings the apples down from the mountain. Um, he should be, and he's done repairs. He's a good all around. He's been a very good yeah, and helpful yeah. neighbor. It sounds like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Were you aware that he was putting out signs about geoengineering, chemtrails in particular? We saw some signs around and we knew his feelings about these things. Sometimes we agreed and sometimes we didn't, but right. he's a good person, wouldn't harm anybody. If I had to leave town on an emergency, I would have Chris stay here and take care of my home. Right. So what do you think about him being prosecuted as a terrorist? Horrible. Absolutely wrong and just unbelievable to me. It's horrible. Yeah. Were, did you see this event? Did, were you here the day that this happened? Or? I was home and they came around and asked if we knew him and asked me who he was and I said he's a good neighbor. I've always liked Chris. Sometimes he thinks a little different on some issues, but as far as that goes, no. Um, Do you have an opinion as to why they're even prosecuting him? Well, I guess the last signs he put out, he had something hanging with it and you know, they claimed it was bad material. Mm -hmm. Chris wouldn't do anything to harm anybody, nor harm any. He really wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. And I think they didn't take time to listen to him or to confront him and say, we found on your sign something we didn't like. You need to stop putting the signs in this manner um, if they wouldn't listen to him. Right, so it seems like there might be something underneath, some other kind of reason to, to I, come I after him. I can't imagine. Yeah. If it's after Chris, no, I can't imagine. Thank you so much. I'm Cheryl, Hope Specialist. Just remember, we are each other's hope. I would like you to open your eyes to what's going on, open your mind, do your research, and open your heart. Pray for Chris, send him support, and there will be something at the bottom of this video to actually ask you for a monetary gift to Chris, to consider that, and to give this to Chris so that he can mount his defense to this, these charges. Chris does go to trial in September. This is a very, very serious issue, and we are simply asking you to honor this humanitarian who is the sign avenger, he's an activist, and he's a filmmaker. Thank you so much for listening, and listen each day we're going to have interviews. Bye-bye for now.